Well, guys, it's uh, it's two o'clock in the morning, just about, and I don't have any good news for you. Uh, the Minnesota House just passed only moments ago red flag gun seizure legislation and universal gun registration. Apparently, if they got to get this stuff passed, they have to do it at two o'clock in the morning. Let everybody hop on here real quick. Guys, total vote was 70 to 64. 70 to 64. By vote of 70 to 64, the Minnesota House just passed Michael Bloomberg's red flag gun seizure legislation and universal gun registration. Um... Like I said, for those of you watching this tomorrow morning, and there'll be a lot who watch it then, yeah, it is about 1.50, just about 2 o'clock in the morning. We're still here at the Capitol. And uh, this legislation now goes over to the Senate, likely right to conference committee. This is where the fight is going now. I guess you could say that History was made tonight, and not the good kind. Not the good kind. In 2013, when the Democrats had control of the House, they didn't pass any of this legislation. But uh, here we are. Here we are by a vote of 70. It was 70 to 64 this past. I haven't looked at exactly who voted what where. Uh, We don't have a detailed analysis of this for you. Um, But I just wanted to make sure you heard that from me before anything else happens uh, tonight. Now, do you see? Now, does everyone see why Minnesota gun rights just fights like hell to stop this stuff? Why we give no quarter? Why we beg no permission? These people hate us. They hate us. They hate you. They hate me. They hate our freedom. They hate everything about us. The Democrats, the Republicans, they stand in there and they play this game and they shove this bullshit down our throats. A world-class dog and pony show. For those of you just tuning in, the Minnesota House only moments ago passed red flag gun seizures and universal gun registration. This now, um, I think it needs to go to the Senate for a concurrence vote or be sent to conference committee. Maybe they can just send it straight to conference committee. I'm not 100% sure on that. But either way, this is going to conference. And now, once again, we have to turn our attention back to the Minnesota Senate, to Paul Gazelka, to our Republican-controlled Senate, and pour pressure on them like they've never felt in all of their lives. Because let me tell you, the pressure to pass this gun control has never been higher here in St. Paul. Don't really know what else to say. You know, like I was saying earlier, what do you got? I mean, the fact, um, the fact that you got somebody like Kurt Doubt standing up there, pretending to be a champion of gun owners, pretending to be a champion of the Second Amendment, is an absolute slap in the face to gun owners. Rachel says, I'm late. What passed? Uh, the, the, the House Public Safety Omnibus Bill is what just passed a few minutes ago. Senate file 802. Um, that's what they've been debating on for hours and hours. For hours and hours. And now, just now, they had 77 different amendments 
brought up for this bill tonight. Let's see here. Sandy says, Sandy says, don't give up. Oh, nowhere close. Nowhere close. Not in a million years. Not in a million years. Minnesota gun rights never gives up. There's always another shot, and we're going to do it. We're going to keep fighting this every step of the way. Now it goes over to the Senate. Now, now it goes to conference committee. And let me tell you, the vote that happened tonight will be regretted so badly by some of those representatives in that building. Some of those people who voted for this bill will pay for it in political blood at election time. They will. I can promise you that. Whether it's in two years or four years or six years, this vote will never be forgotten as long as those legislators are in that building. And so I'll just cut right to the point. I'll just get right. Paul Gazelka, I hope you're watching. I hope you're watching. Because you and your caucus will pay the price if you don't hold the line in conference. There is no stone we will leave unturned. There is nothing that we will not do to expose these lawmakers who stab us in the back. Better get it figured out. All right, guys, that's what I've got for right now. I needed you to know that before I took off for home. I'm going to head home, get a little bit of sleep. Back at this tomorrow. We got three weeks left. Three weeks left. And we're going to fight like hell. Not on our watch. Not at all. Not at all. I mean, you've never seen anything like it. Just a while ago, there was another amendment being voted on. Right? And what happens? Everybody voted. There was enough votes to tack the amendment on. It wasn't gun rights related. And what happened? They held the rolls. They held the voting board open and went over to their own caucus members. These are the Democrats. And browbeat the hell out of their own caucus members until enough of them switched their vote in order to get this stuff passed or not passed. This is the length, this is the measure of their resolve to pass this. So we must be even more resolved. This is why we say that coming up here to the Capitol and kissing these politicians' butts and licking their boots and being their little, their little puppy dog on a leash, just, just the little pet seal just ready to jump at their first call. This is why we don't do politics that way. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Guys, do me a favor. Share this video right away. That's the only action item I've got tonight. That's the only action item I've got. Um, share this video with your family and your friends. I'll have a more detailed analysis of this for you tomorrow. Um, Gary J says, fight them like Sun Tzu. It's really funny you should say that, Gary, because there's a, a lot more Sun Tzu goes into this than one might think. Uh, but guys, share this video. Tonight, tonight it passed. Tonight it passed the house. Now it goes to conference, and we're going to keep the heat on over there. We have to. We don't have a choice. Got to keep fighting. Got to keep the heat on. Don't give up. Not even a little bit. Not even a tiny little bit. These lawmakers. It's incredible. You see that balcony up there? Half the night... Half of the night, there were lawmakers standing out there, smoking cigarettes, drinking, laughing. 
And all these votes are happening inside on these amendments. And these lawmakers aren't even in there casting their own votes. They have their friends clicking the buttons for them. They're not even representing their people. It's an absolute joke, but that's the way it's done around here. Yes, somebody just asked, does it still have to pass the Senate? Yeah, it has to pass the Senate. It has to pass the Senate. It has to get through this conference committee. And we are going to do our damnedest to make sure that does not happen. That is why Minnesota gun rights came right out of the gate. Right out of the gate. The moment session kicked off, we went and had our meeting with Senate Majority Leader Paul Gazelka. We went and met with him. And what did he tell us? He said, we're not going to do anything that gun owners want us to. Want, want us to do. We're not going to do it. That's what he told us. And that is why we put pressure on Paul Kozelka. That is why we put pressure on Senate Republicans right out of the gate because we knew there was a very good chance that what happened tonight was going to happen tonight. And we knew that our best chance of stopping this gun control was going to come in the Senate. So our best chance to stop this is still coming. It's still coming. It's here now. This was the easiest path for them. Remember? They passed it through all these committees, right? They passed it through the committees. Then they turn around, and now they finally pass it through the House. That was their strong suit. That is where they have the majority. That's how that stuff works. Now we're over to the Senate. And as much as Paul Gazelko would like to do a deal and pass this stuff, um, mm -mm, no, no, over our dead political bodies, it ain't going to happen. It ain't going to happen. So, guys, that's what I have for right now. For those of you just checking in, the Minnesota House passed red flag gun seizure legislation and universal gun registration through the House tonight at 2 o'clock in the morning. 2 a.m. Unbelievable. And a great big omnibus bill, chock full of garbage. Garbage. Do me a favor, share this video. Tune back in tomorrow. I'll have more updates for you then. Tune back in. And uh, guys, I'm going to hit the road. I'm going to head home for now. So um, thank you for tuning in tonight. I cannot believe. I had 125 people watching at 2 o'clock in the morning. You guys are freaking rock stars. I can tell you that. That or you're all kind of a little crazy. You got to be a little crazy. Got to be just a little bit. Got to be just a little bit. But thank you for joining me. Thank you for coming on here tonight. Share this video. Stand and fight with Minnesota Gun Rights. Help us stop this gun control from passing. Go to joinmgr.com. Go to joinmgr.com, sign up, become a member, and help us do battle on your behalf, and I'll have more updates for you very, very soon. Good night, everybody. We'll talk soon.